In typical fashion, Marvel, you've done it again. I am by far not a Hawkeye fan by any measure, but that doesn't make him any less important. I mean, he has to compete with the likes of Marvel's Big Three, The Incredible Hulk, and Black Widow, and he still holds his own. I think he does deserve a little bit of praise for pulling this off. And with that being said, I'm going to do a whole series following Marvel Studios' Hawkeye. Cue the intro. B -b back again with another video man once again perfect portrayal of how how this fits into the marvel timeline at the beginning of the show we get just enough to see how the events from avengers 1 affect people on their regular lives on an intimate level speaking of level from all the mayhem that went on from the attack on manhattan or new york let me know down in the comments we see that not only did Kate Bishop live in a penthouse in the shadow of Stark Towers, she was also saved and inspired by Clint Barton Hawkeye to become a vigilante herself. Key line she said after the destruction and the mayhem of her house, she said, I need a bow. After watching Clint Barton do his infamous, you know, scene from Avengers 1 where he jumps off that building and swings down through a lower deck, which was masterfully played in the opening credit montage. I think this montage lets you see her rise and how she will be or is to be Hawkeye in the future. Before we get any further, would you hit that subscribe button for me please? I am now up to 63 subscribers. I was pushing for 100 before the end of the year and that's still a possibility. Hit the like button as well and leave a comment. Now to Hawkeye himself, we see him trying to live a normal life again trying to spend the holidays with his kids. We see him in a musical which is portraying Steve Rogers' life and career. We see Barton going through it as Natasha Romanoff Black Widow's character is on stage, kind of going through some post-dramatic stress. Now this is not by mere chance. They both share a long history in these movies and they both made appearances in other movies before Avengers 1. And the comment he made to his daughter after she snapped him out of his trance was priceless. He said, that guy wasn't there. I think this is the tip of the hat to Hank Pym being in the MCU at this time and it's also a reference to Ant-Man actually being a founding member of the Avengers team in the comics. Back to Kate and jumping right into the good stuff. Back to Kate and jumping right into the good stuff. Armand, Kate's mom's fiance and his uncle, Armand, seem to be dealing with some black market exploit and in the midst of this black market auction we see Ronan sword and costume show up. Why is this important? Because plot, right? He must have left it at Avengers compound after the beginning of Endgame. And I think we all know what happens next, right? I got a little ahead of myself, but Kate was suspicious of Armand and stumbled upon the black market auction and then it gets trashed by some ninjas. In the midst of all the mayhem that ensued on this attack, guess who dons the Ronin outfit, Kate Bishop, and she handled it quite well. I was impressed. And somewhere along the lines again through all this mayhem, and somewhere along the lines again through all this chaos and mayhem, Kate Bishop stumbles upon Armand, the uncle, lying dead on the floor. And I'm so glad she didn't get caught because I really didn't want to see it go down like that, so she snuck she snuck out. Now I don't know a lot about Amon's history, but I do believe that he is going to be the swordsman in this show and possibly the main antagonist, or one of the main antagonists. And thank goodness this broke out into the streets because it caused enough ruckus for this to be aired on the news, letting Hawkeye see what is going on. Someone taking his Ronin costume for a ride. Now, originally I wanted to tie the first two episodes into each other, but obviously I didn't get around to it. So I will be doing a follow-up video on the second episode, and hopefully I can get it out to you this week. But yeah, so far, man, I am really enjoying this show. Marvel is really not disappointing me. DC, I don't know what you guys are doing. <laughs> Just remember, be on the lookout. I will do episode two 
and I will continue to follow this series. And in the meantime, you can follow me on social media. I'm there all day, every day, and this stuff will be linked down in the descriptions. Till next time, man, y'all be blessed. Keep God in your life. Stay prayed up in this. Crazy, crazy world. Cajun wine, the red Leo. I'm out, baby.